In this video, we're going to show you how to create very interesting layouts very quickly and easily just using Photoshop in our new series of templates, which is our signature guestbook templates. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to come into Adobe Bridge, take a look at these templates. We provided them for you in two different formats. The first format being all uh, a full page spread template. And then we also have the individual pages as well. Now, the individual pages are special, and here's why. Let me go ahead and just create a new blank document here inside Photoshop. And we're going to do uh, 22 inches wide by 14 inches tall. So basically, we're doing an 11 by 14 album. Now, I'm just going to show my rulers, and I'm going to pull over a guideline. And by default, you'll feel that guideline snap right to the center of our spread. Kind of a handy feature uh, here inside Photoshop. Now let's go back into Bridge for a moment. All of our templates are provided as either a 10 by 10 template when we're dealing with our individual templates or a 10 by 20 template when we're dealing with our full page spread templates. So I'm just going to showcase the individual templates because I think these offer uh, a really unique ability. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a selection. And now that we have that selection made, when I double click on my template file, it is going to only fill in the selected area. And then it gives me a prompt if I want to insert photos. And I'm going to say no for this example. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to just select an area and then we're going to come back to our individual templates and this time we're going to choose the blank template option. And you can see as soon as I hit no to insert photos we're going to get just the image opening in the area that I selected. Now I'm going to go ahead and control click on this image layer and because I'm still in my marquee tool I can actually pick that selection up and move it. And then I'm going to hit that same blank template again. This time however because I just have Photoshop and I don't have one of our album design softwares we still want the ability to automatically insert our images. So this time, I'm going to say yes to insert my images into my layout. And what's going to happen here is one of the image openings is going to be turned red, and we get this dialog box. Do we want to use Bridge to select the image? Here's where most people will make their mistake. So pay close attention. To use these templates properly, we would go into Bridge. We would select an image, come back over to Photoshop here, and then choose yes. It will then take our bridge selection and automatically drop it in to the image opening that was highlighted in red. It'll pause, allows us to position the image, and then we can simply hit return. Now if there are more images to populate, which of course in this case there is, we'll get the dialog box once again. Now I'm going to come back over to bridge and this time I'm going to go ahead and highlight two images because we know we have two image openings remaining. And then when I choose yes, it will go ahead and take in the first image I selected, pause, I'm going to resize it just a pinch, position it, and then it'll automatically move on to the next image opening and automatically move on to the next image I selected in bridge. And of course, once again, I can resize it just a little bit, position it in my window however I like. Now from here, we can get a little bit creative if we want to. So for example, this little sliver of a color bar over here on the far uh, left hand side, I'm just going to use Photoshop Free Transform to make it a little bit bigger and then I'm going to duplicate the layer, Control J or Command J, using my arrow keys, make, slide it over a little bit. And I can either leave it like that for a little visual interest, but I'm going to Free Transform it back off, just like that. So there's just two different layers of transparency right there. I just think it adds a little interesting visual interest. Now what you're going to find as you're doing your design work, you might say, well, what would it look like if I threw in a background texture behind these two images over here on the right? Well, what I can do here is I can make a selection. I can use that blank file back over here in Bridge. So let's back up a directory here. There's that blank file again. 
simply double click on it. Now this time we're going to do something a little bit different. Because we're going to get the prompt again. Do we want to insert images? This time we're going to choose yes like we had previously. But now we're going to choose the skip option. So we're going to skip over that first image opening. We're going to skip over the second image opening. We're going to skip over the third image opening. And once we see the background image highlighted in red, now we're going to go back into Bridge, come into our background textures, select one, and then choose yes. And it will go ahead and drop in the background texture. And there it is. Now, one point to make. Sometimes when we insert our background images like we did, when we already had images in place, it may not come in in the proper layer sequence. In other words, this background texture may wind up on top of our images. Simple matter, it will always be a separate layer. You can always just reshuffle the deck here and get it in the order where it needs to be. Now, here's where Photoshop takes over because we can do some fun things here in Photoshop to enhance this layout just a touch more. Let's add a hue and saturation adjustment layer to the texture. So we'll do that here in Photoshop. We're going to come into our hue and saturation adjustment layer, choose the colorize option. Now you'll notice as soon as I choose the colorize option, something happens, doesn't it? Notice this image over here on the left turns this kind of reddish color. And that's because this hue and saturation adjustment layer is affecting every single layer below it. So if we only want it to affect the texture layer, and here in CS5 we have this neat little option right here. Just click on this little button, and now the adjustment layer is clipped to the texture layer and only affects the texture layer. Now from here we can adjust the saturation, we can adjust the lightness, and of course we could adjust the hue to be whatever we want. And I kind of was looking for something kind of brown, but I did want to increase the lightness a little bit, maybe not so much. Um, and then you could just kind of tweak this thing a little bit because I want a kind of a brownish texture, but I wanted to see that texture just a little bit better. And I think that looks great. Now to finish this off, we're just going to select these two image openings here, and then we'll come into our predefined layer styles, and we'll just give it a little white stroke on those two. And there you have it. I think that is a great look. We'll go ahead and hide. And really simple to do. And I think it just really looks great. Um, and you can see how we can take these templates and really create something totally unique very, very quickly and easily um, just using Photoshop. So I hope you enjoy this new template collection. And thanks for watching.